happy morning my dear children today we are going to discuss about that unit 3 p block element 2 that's a page number 84 reactions with alkali that's one of the chlorine reacts with alkali my dear children one of the very important question reactions with alkali first the chlorine reacts with dilute alkali to give chlorides and also hypochlorite and also it reacts with the hard concentrated alkali chlorides and chlorates are formed here we can discuss one of the reaction that is chlorine reacts with water we get two products first product is hydrochloric acid second product is hypochlorous acid can you understand what is the first one that is a chlorine one of the chlorine molecule reacts with the water we get hydrochloric acid and also hypochlorous acid the second one this product hydrochloric acid reacts with the sodium hydroxide and the other product that is a hypochlorous acid reacts with the sodium hydroxide. Can you understand? Here we get a two products. One is about the hydrochloric acid and the other one is about the hypochlorous acid. Hydrochloric acid reacts with the sodium hydroxide. We get sodium chloride and hypochlorous acid reacts with the sodium hydroxide. We get the sodium hypochlorite. So, we have to write the overall reaction. What is about the overall reaction? That is a chlorine reacts with the sodium hydroxide. We get the sodium hypochlorate and also sodium chloride and water. And also we can be write the equation. Previously I told that one of the chlorine molecule reacts with water. Chlorine molecules we can be written as Cl2 reacts with water we get here hydrogen combines with the chlorine we get HCl and here having one of the OH this OH reacts with other chlorine to form HOCl can you say what is the name of HOCl hypochlorous acid so which are the product is obtained by the reaction between Chlorine and water, which are the products is obtained? HCl and HOCl. HCl and HOCl. What is about the HCl? Hydrochloric acid. What about the HOCl? Hypochlorous acid. Next, this HCl also reacts with the sodium hydroxide. HOCl also reacts with the sodium hydroxide. First, I am taking HCl. One of the HCl on reacts with the sodium hydroxide, that is NaOH, we get sodium combines with the Cl to form sodium chloride and also H combines with the OH to form water molecule. That is about the second reaction. First reaction is over. Second reaction. What about the third reaction? Here, the second product. What is the second product? HOCl. This HOCl on reacts with the sodium hydroxide. We get this sodium and oxygen and Cl combines to form NO, NaOCl. NaOCl. Sodium hypochlorite. And also, this hydrogen and OH combines to form H2O. My dear children, next you have to write the overall reaction. What is about the overall reaction? You have to cancelling which the opposite side which can be cancelled means here the second reaction HCl and the first reaction HCl, HCl can be cancelled. Am I right? These two can be cancelled. Next about the third reaction HOCl and the first reaction product HOCl can be cancelled. 
next the first reaction of water and also the second reaction of water can be also cancel so which are the possibility for cancelling here hcl hcl cancel hcl hcl cancel water molecule that is h2o h2o cancel we have to write the remaining that is about the overall reaction so here having 2 cl cl2 plus sodium hydroxide 2 having here 2 naoh plus 2 naoh gives next one here naocl plus here having nacl nacl plus one molecule of water what is the overall reaction cl2 plus 2 naoh gives naocl plus nacl plus h2o next we can be right uh, chlorine reacts with the water we get sky cl and hcl am i right this is the first reaction second reaction we wrote that the product hcl reacts with the sodium hydroxide we get sodium chloride and water next we write the second product that is hcl reacts with the sodium hydroxide we get naocl plus h2o am i right next one more a new reaction we are writing sodium hypochlorite is converted into sodium chlorate again we are writing the fourth reaction sodium chlorate is converted into sodium sorry sodium hypochlorite is converted into sodium chlorate so once again we have to write the equation what is the first equation here cl2 plus h2o gives hcl plus hocl second reaction hcl plus naoh gives nacl plus h2o the third reaction hocl plus naoh gives naocl plus h2o the fourth reaction naocl gives naclo3 plus nacl so how to balance the equation product said how much oxygen is there three oxygen atom uh, sorry three oxygen so you have to change it the reactant said three so how much sodium now comes three how much chlorine having three am i right so here the react uh, the product said sodium chloride we get am i right here if you are making two means now the reactions uh, is over am i right is completely balanced my dear children next we have to canceling this area canceling this equation by means we have to multiplied by 3 each equation you have to multiplied by 3 am i right multiplied by 3 that is the uh, first equation you have to multiplied by 3 second equation you have to multiplied by 3 the third equation also you have to multiplied by 3 what is the reason by cancelling the reactants and the product okay so once again i am writing here once again i am writing then only we can be easily understand that one that is multiplied by 3 means 3 cl2 plus 3 h2o gives 3 hcl plus 3 h2o cl i am right if you are multiplied the first equation by 3 means we get this answer you have to multiply it by second equation by 3 means we have hydrochloric acid by multiplied by 3 means 3 hcl plus 3 naoh gives 3 nacl plus h2o second reaction is over next come to the third reaction what is the third reaction how to multiply it by 3 3 hocl plus 3 naoh gives 
3 NaOCl plus 3 H2O. So the fourth reaction has like you write right here. 3 NaOCl gives NaClO3 plus 2 NaCl. Right? So which are the cancelling here? Here, first equation 3 HCl and second equation 3 HCl can be cancelled. Then, first equation 3 HOCl, 3 HOCl can be cancelled. Am I right? First equation and the third equation. First equation and the third equation. HOCl, HOCl can be cancelled. Then, Third equation, 3 NaOCl and the fourth equation, 3 NaOCl can be cancelled. Am I right? Yes or no? Next, any other cancelling? Okay, this water molecules. First equation, 3 H2O and the second equation, 3 H2O can be cancelled. So, which are the remaining having? Shall we write the remaining? Which are the remaining? First, that three chlorine atom, chlorine molecule, three Cl2 plus, here having three NaOH, three NaOH, total three plus three, six NaOH gives sodium chloride NaClO3 plus Here having 3 NaCl, here having 2 NaCl. So 3 plus 2, 5 NaCl. And 3 molecules of water. Okay. Can you write? Next question. Oxidizing and bleaching action of chlorine. Okay. We know that one, the previous class, we discussed about that. Chlorine is a strong oxidizing and bleaching agent. Chlorine is one of the strong oxidizing agent and also one of the bleaching agent. What the reason means? Because in this reaction, this reaction having one of the nascent oxygen. One of the nascent oxygen. The previously we discussed that one of the coloring mat matter, coloring material, otherwise colored matter, reacts with one of the nascent oxygen, coloring matter, one of the coloring substance, on reacts with one of the nascent oxygen, we get a colorless oxidation product. Am I right? The last class, last before class. We discuss. Next, here, the bleaching action of chlorine is a permanent. Okay, it is one of the permanent. What is the reason means? Here, chlorine is oxidized to ferrous salt to ferric salt. Ferrous salt. But sir, can we say one formula? Ferrous salt. Ferrous salt. Ferrous sulfate. What is the formula? FeSO4, ferrous salt to ferric salt, ferric means Fe2SO4 thrice, ferrous is converted into ferric, can you understand? Ferrous, that is FeSO4 is converted into Fe2SO4 thrice, that's the one, next one. One of the sulfite salt, sulfite, sulfite means, I am taking one of the sulfite is sodium sulfite, sodium sulfate formula, Na2SO3, sodium sulfite, sodium sulfite is converted into sodium sulfate. What is the formula? Na2SO4, Na2SO4. Next one more. Hydrogen sulfide, hydrogen sulfide formula, what is the formula? 
H2S, one of the hydrogen sulfide is converted into sulfur. This is one of the reaction. We shall write the equation. One of an iron chloride is converted into iron trichloride. Iron chloride formula FeCl2. FeCl2 iron chloride. On reacts with the chlorine Cl2, we get FeCl3. FeCl3. Iron trichloride. How can you balance the equation? First you have to balance the product side. Product side if you are making 2. 2 FeCl3 means the reactant side FeCl2 can be changed to 2 FeCl2. Now the equation is balanced. Second equation already we learned today. Cl2 on reacts with water we get H plus Cl gives HCl. Am I right? Next here having one more OH, this OH on reacts with other chlorine, other Cl, other chlorine, we get HOCl. And also I told that ferrous sulfate, ferrous sulfate is converted into ferric sulfate. How the reaction is going? The reaction between ferrous sulfate, what is the formula of ferrous sulfate? FeSO4. And reacts with the sulfuric acid, H2SO4. In the presence of HOCl, hypochlorous acid. Am I right? We get Fe on combines with the sulfate to form ferric sulfate. What is the formula? Fe2SO3, SO4 thrice. What is the formula? Fe2. SO4 thrice ferric sulfate plus one of the hydrogen combines with the chlorine hydrogen combines with the chlorine we get HCl and also here H reacts with the OH we get water molecules H2O so how can you balance the equation here Fe product said Fe how much Fe have you 2 Fe so make it the reactant said 2 Fe next you have to count the sulfate Fe 2 Fe 2 Fe okay sulfate how much sulfate is there on the product side 3 sulfate here having 2 here having 1 so that also over what about the HCl that also okay, ICL. Water also balanced. Next, one of the important point, we can be cancelling. We can be which are the possibility of cancelling. That's from the second equation and third equation. We have to uh, cancel. Okay, second and third because the chlorine reacts with the water. Okay, chlorine reacts with the water. So which are the possibility of cancelling? Uh, Third equation, HOCl and the second equation, HOCl can be cancelled. Next, is there a possibility for cancelling? Water, second re reaction, water and third reaction, water can be cancelled. Next, any other cancelling? Okay, no possibility. Okay, now come to the overall reaction. First, I am writing chlorine Cl2. Second reaction, chlorine Cl2 plus ferrous sulfate plus FeSO4 plus H2SO4 gives Fe2SO4 thrice plus how much HCl is there? Here I have one, second equation I have one, one plus one, two HCl plus Okay, it's over, am I right? Water, water can be cancelled. This is about the overall reaction. Next, we come to come to the second one, second area. That is first one. 
chlorine water molecule is over. Second one that is about the ferrous sulfate is converted into ferric sulfate. That also how to write. So the first one chlorine Cl2 plus H2O gives HCl plus HOCl. That's the first equation. Second equation, the here having the one of the conversion sulfide over into sulf sorry sulfide is converted into sulfate. Sulfide is converted into sulfate. Sulfite sulfite formula what Na2SO3 sulfide that is sodium sulfide is converted into sodium sulfate Na2SO4. So the by the reaction between Sodium sulfide Na2SO3 reacts with the water plus Cl2 gives sodium combines with the sulfate to form sodium sulfate hydrogen combines with the chlorine to form HCl. So how to cancel? Just we can be recheck whether this equation is correct or wrong. So HOCl, HOCl, hypochlorous acid can be cancelled. So there is no possibility for cancelling. So sodium sulfide is converted to sodium sulfate. And one more point. Hydrogen sulfide is converted to sulfur. Hydrogen sulfide is converted to sulfur. That is Cl2 plus H2S gives sulfur S yes, plus 2 HCl. Am I right? 2 HCl. Next about the preparation of bleaching powder. Yesterday also we learned that one. How can you prepare the bleaching powder? Here how we can be easily prepared the bleaching powder means by the reaction between Calcium hydroxide, calcium hydroxide, that is we are saying salt lime. This calcium hydroxide on reacts with the chlorine, we get calcium oxychloride, that is called what? Bleaching powder. Calcium oxychloride, CaO, Cl2 plus H2O. So how to write the equation? What is the formula of calcium hydroxide? CaOH twice. Plus Cl2 gives here one of the calcium combines with the oxygen and Cl2 we get calcium oxychloride plus water molecules. Next one displacement reaction. Displacement reaction. Otherwise, we can be said displacement redox reaction. Here, chlorine displaces the bromine from bromides, iodine from iodide salt. Here, chlorine displaces, displaces bromine from potassium bromide. Chlorine displaces bromine from potassium bromide. What is the formula of potassium bromide? KBr and also iodine displaces pot potassium iodide. Am I right? Potassium iodide. So, how can you write the equation? First, I am taking chlorine Cl2. This chlorine on reacts with KBr potassium bromide. Potassium combines with Cl to form KCl and also Br2. So, 2 chlorine is there, so make it 2. Now, the equation is balanced. Next about chlorine reacts with Ki, we get potassium combines with Cl to form KCl and plus I2. Chlorine Cl2. Now the equation is balanced. Next about that. 
formation of addition compound one of an addition compound is forming here here we are taking one of the sulfur dioxide otherwise we can be say carbon monoxide and also ethylene the sum of the products we are taking this and this products on reacts with chlorine we get one of an addition product one of an addition product okay here i am taking one of a reaction that is about that sulfur dioxide i am taking one of the product is sulfur sorry one of the reactant is sulfur dioxide so2 this on reacts with the cl2 we get so2 cl2 so2 cl2 what is the product name can you say sulfuryl chloride sulfuryl chloride next again reacts with co that is carbon monoxide and reacts with the cl2 we get carbonyl dichloride carbonyl dichloride cao cl2 next i am taking ethylene that is a c2 h4 ch ch2 double bond ch2 one of an ethylene molecule on reacts with the cl2 we get c2 h4 cl2 c2 h4 cl2 ethylene dichloride ethylene dichloride next one i am taking methane all of you know about the formula of methane what is the formula of methane ch4 the ch4 on reacts with the cl2 we get one of the hydrogen combines the chlorine to form hcl and here also one more cl it will become it will be reactive with the ch3 we get ch3 cl methyl chloride and also we get hcl methyl chloride and also we get hcl next one benzene what is the formula of benzene c6 h6 here one of the hydrogen and combines with the chlorine cl2 we get c6 h5 cl chlorobenzene and also we get hcl hydrochloric acid next we can be discuss about that what are the uses of chlorine uses of chlorine about the chlorine one of the main uses is, is used in the purification of drinking water then about the bleaching of cotton textile papers and also rayon third one is the extraction of gold and platinum the extraction of gold and platinum this are some area we discuss about that next about hydrochloric acid next topic our topic is about that hydrochloric acid all of you know that one hydrochloric acid what is the formula of hydrochloric acid hcl how it is prepared it is prepared by the reaction between sodium chloride and sulfuric acid second one sodium hydrogen sulfate with nacl nacl so you have to write the first equation nacl plus h2so4 gives nahso4 plus hcl nahso4 plus hcl second one this nahso4 reacts with nacl we get na2so4 because 2na is there na2so4 plus hydrogen combines the chlorine to form hcl next what are the properties of hydrochloric acid hydrochloric acid is a colorless pungent smelling gas easily liquefied to 
colorless liquid and also frozen to a white crystalline solid this is extremely soluble in water hcl on reacts with water that is hcl is one of the gaseous state water is a liquid state we get h3o plus plus cl minus h3o plus hydronium ion h3o hydronium ion am i right next about what are the chemical properties of hydrochloric acid hydrochloric acid what are the chemical properties i am taking some of the metal let us say zinc metal magnesium metal otherwise i am taking one of the salt sodium carbonate calcium carbonate sodium bicarbonate these are the some of the salt and reacts with the hydrochloric acid here what is happening here means liberating hydrogen gas liberating hydrogen gas okay now we can be right the equation it is some of the metal zinc metal magnesium metal zinc and reacts with hcl is certain on reacts with the hcl zinc combines with cl to form ezn cl2 ezn cl2 zinc chloride and also liberating hydrogen we can be balance equation product side here having two chlorine so reactant side make it two magnesium also same like that magnesium combines with hcl we get MgCl2 plus H2 gas is evolved. So how much chlorine is there? MgCl2 two chlorine. So make it two. Now H2. Now the equation is balanced. Next about sodium carbonate. What is the formula of sodium carbonate? N Na2CO3. The sodium carbonate on reacts with the HCl. We get Na combines with the Cl to form NaCl. Carbonate CO3 is converted into carbon dioxide, that is CO2, and also we get H2. So two hydrogen make it two hydrogen. Here's two sodium to make it two NaCl. Now the equation is balanced. Next about calcium carbonate. What is the formula of calcium carbonate? CaCO3 on reacts with HCl we get calcium combines with the chlorine to form CaCl2 plus carbonate is converted into carbon dioxide and we get hydrogen make it to H2 so your reactants had to make it to HCl now everything is balanced next is about the sodium bicarbonate what is the formula NaHCO3 sodium bicarbonate on reacts with the HCl. We get Na combines with the Cl to form NaCl. Carbonate is converted to carbon dioxide. And also we get water molecule H2O. So how can you balance the equation? Here having two hydrogen, so make it the reactant side two HCl. Now two chlorine, so two NaCl. Two NaCl. If you are making two sodium bicarbonate, so again having make it a problem here. 2 carbon dioxide, 2 carbon dioxide, carbonate that also balanced. What about the water? Make it 2 H2, 2 H2. Now the equation is balanced. Am I right? 2, 2, 2, 6. Okay, balanced. Next, it liberates sulfur dioxide from sodium sulfide. What is the formula of sodium sulfide? Na2SO3. Na2SO3. On reacts with HCl, we get 
sodium combines with the Cl to form NaCl plus hydrogen combines to OH to form H2O and also we get uh, liberate sulfur dioxide SO2 so 2 sodium so make it the product said 2 sodium 2 chlorine so make it the reactant said 2 HCl now the equation is balanced next one of the important point I asked about that aqua regia aqua regia other name is about that royal water anybody remember the name aqua regia the previous less uh, previous uh, topic i told you about that the aqua regia anybody if anybody remember means um, anybody i heard the name aqua regia previous topic anybody remember means um, please say the page number in this video command section okay clear if anybody heard the name aqua regia you have to say the page number and send the command section okay anyhow aqua regia means royal water what is that one means three parts of hydrochloric acid that is a concentrated hydrochloric acid we are taking three parts and one part is about that concentrated nitric acid this mixture is called as an aqua regia what is the use of this aqua regia means for dissolving gold platinum etc so how to write the equation AU plus H plus NO3 plus Cl minus that means we are writing the ionic equation am I right actually the reaction means gold reacts with concentrated nitric acid plus concentrated hydrochloric acid that is a reality reaction okay but we are writing the ionic equation so gold AU plus H plus plus NO3 minus plus Cl minus gives AU combines with chloride ions we get AuCl4 minus AuCl4 minus and NO3 is converted into NO plus we get water molecules you get how much water molecules so here AuCl4 means you have to write reactant side 4 Cl minus am I right next about NO3 that is a nitrite three oxygen is there here having the product said we have to change two water molecules so two or three oxygen next come to the hydrogen reactant said four H plus ions am I right equation is balanced next about the platinum that is PT on reacts with H plus ions plus NO3 minus plus Cl minus gives Pt Cl6 Pt Cl6 2 minus hold the bracket 2 minus plus NO that is NO3 is converted into NO plus water H2O H2O so how can you balance the equation if you are making the product said 3 PtCl6 3 Pt platinum chloride am I right ion platinum chloride ion 3 PtCl6 means we have your writing so come to the reactant said 3 platinum Pt chlorine that is 6 3s are 18 am I right the react uh, product said 6 3s are 18 so the reactant said make it 18 Cl okay next about how can you count the oxygen here have oxygen 3 the product said here also having um, 2 am I right 
So how can you easily balance the means? Here we are writing 4NO3 means. The product should also make it 4NO. So total how much oxygen is there? React inside. 4 trees are 12. Out of 12, how much oxygen is over? 4 oxygen is over in the product side. The remaining is 8 having. So make it the 8 water molecules. So oxygen, oxygen balance. What about the hydrogen? 8 to 16. So make it 16 H plus ion. Now the reaction is over. Next about what are the uses of hydrochloric acid. Already we learned about that hydrochloric acid. It is used for the manufacture of chlorine. And the manufacture of ammonium chloride, glucose uh, from corn, corn, starch, etc. And also it is also used in the extraction of glue from bones. Bone and also for the purification of bone black. Bone black. These are the uses of hydrochloric acid. Anyhow, today I am giving only one assignment. A very good assignment and very very important assignment. Page number 84. What happens? Chlorine reacts with alkali. What happens? Chlorine reacts with alkali. Uh, that's a page number 84. The last equation. That is the last 3-4 equation. And page number 85, first five equations, the overall reaction, okay? So total, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 equations, okay? It's a very important five mark question. Very, very important question, okay? What happens? Chlorine reacts with alkali. How to write? Okay? Thank you all of you. Thank you. Have a nice day.